The beginning of a new arc and man, we were messing up already. So many things we've done wrong already. What do we do? I broke Amelia's promise. Bro literally said, I'm going to go say thank you to the people I met in Arc 1 and that's it. I'm going to be a good boy and stay put because the adults, they got to go and do their politics. But Subaru just has this desire to prove his worth, to show Amelia how reliable he is, that he can save her when she never fucking asked for it. And it's resulting in some problems. Julius, I think, is perfectly fine. I don't think there's anything that he did that really pissed me off. Yes, the gesture of kiss on the hand. I think that's a knight's chivalry. Are we forgetting what kind of timeline, what kind of world we're in? Subaru's lust and pride and the fucking envy and wrath. Everything comes together and it's just coming out in the wrong way possible. Priscilla is a very interesting character. And in fact, I think she's my favorite royal candidate so far. It's not really fair because the other two hasn't really gotten enough, you know, lines. Amelia is just... Amelia, I have nothing against Amelia. She's just, you know, nice, dainty, pure, innocent girl. I just like my toxic bitches, and Priscilla is fantastic. And what's really interesting about that is her ability, which I think is a divine protection or blessing, or maybe she's just gaslighting, saying everything just bends to my will. Everything will work out in my favor. No matter what, I will be in the advantageous position. And if you think about that, what happened when Subaru immediately called for taxi? the fucking dragon carriage Priscilla was on appeared. Was that a coincidence? Is that her blessing in work? I'm not too sure. She calls Amelia a slur a halfwit. I don't think it's really a slur, but it is definitely because she is a halfwit, which is interesting. And she's using Subaru as a fucking tool to kind of like get on Amelia's back because there might be something going on there beyond just her not liking Amelia as a half felt. And Roswell, I think, might be the most interesting person so far, even though he had little interactions or lines, because he kept giving weird looks of confidence. Because, like, you would think that he would be mad, like Amelia. Because Roswell's goal, again, what is it? For Amelia to win, so that he can kill the dragon. But what Subaru is doing right now, showing up with the, op like the opposite faction and fucking shit up, this kind of goes against what would take Amelia to win the throne. Unless Roswell has figured it out that this is the counterintuitive way for Amelia to win. I just don't understand that part. But he's been very suspicious of how he's just so cool and even like encouraging Subaru to like tag along. Rem? <sighs> I got a lot to say about Rem, but we'll say that for a different time. I, I think that she is just... She, she is glazing and will basically do whatever Subaru tells her to do. So it's kind of unfair to shit on Rem, but it's just... She's she just honestly just Subaru's tool now, and she'll do whatever the fuck Subaru wants. Let's begin today's reaction. <laughs> Reinhardt has not been the allegations. Especially not with these two new lollies, bro. What in the fuck, Reinhardt? <laughs> Are they getting along better now? Cause like in memory of snow, she was like running away from Reinhardt when she was he was trying to put her in this dress. They seem cool. <laughs> Yo, that's a bad look if your fucking Canada starts attacking you. Are you kidnapped me? Yeah. It's crazy because like Subaru is like a royal candidate magnet and all three, Amelia, Felt, Priscilla, he met them in a back alley. Coincidence? I don't know. He's ちょうどね、この部分。なんでこんなところにいんだよ、兄ちゃん。すごい心配するなら。お願いします。ギガチャードマーコス。で、私に何してのフルマイヨと言いたいところですね。ギャルキャンドゥザイ。これを。グローイ
Just when the meeting could have been fucking wrapped up, you have that one motherfucker that has something to say. What is it? Oh! Yo, there is some rivalry here! So the Imperial Knights are clad in white. And I'm assuming the people in this color is like mages. Because, I don't know. There's knights and mages, right? Roswell also wears clothing of this color. What's the two factions here? Tell me. Al and Felix don't give a fuck. Felix with Krush, okay? Julius, who you back in? Anastasia, I'm gonna assume it's the other purple girl. So Krush has Felix. I'm gonna assume Anastasia is in the right. Is she supposed to be some sort of Russian theme here? Am I racist for assuming that Anastasia is a Russian name? Fuck me. But okay, we got some other backings. All you have to do is just shut up, let the meeting happen, and then explain to Amelia why you broke the promise. Please. Please. Don't do it. I just want to fuck it. This, this was a question. I'm going to do this. <clears throat> <laughs> and everyone's going to be like, What the fuck? <laughs> Damn, they hate Felt, man. <laughs> the mages hate Felt that they are the mages. Ha! Your majesty, I assure you I am not a lolicon. I just happened to find her in a back alley. Broke apart that poor family. Ramji should literally just show up and take felt and run away, dude. Poor Ramji, you didn't even fix his fucking cellar. You stole his granddaughter away. Come on now. Reinhardt is the worst, bro. He a lollicon that destroyed a family. Go fuck him up, felt. Priscilla, come on. <laughs> Honestly, Priscilla and Felt are both hot-headed. I want them to fight. I want them to fucking fight, dude. Poor Amelia just caught in between. <laughs> what was that fan? She can fight? She can fight. She can fight. That aura? The fan? I don't know how she fights, but it looks like she doesn't really need Al. In the back alley, she was fine too against the bandits. How does she fight? I wanna know. Right I was trying to teach an untrained little bitch her I love Priscilla. She evil. She fucking pompous. I love her though. She's so toxic. Why would I apologize? <laughs> For being born, you fucking half wit. Oh, it's getting But everyone thinks that though. Super chill. And that's the interesting thing, too, with Amelia being a half-elf. How are you expected to win if you are literally taboo? Everyone thinks that she's taboo. She, everyone probably thinks that she's associated with Satala. How the fuck are you gonna... Well, I don't think this is like an election where people vote through democracy, right? So it shouldn't really matter what the people think. As long as... What, what, is, this, is it going to be a battle royale? I don't know. Marcos Gigachad. Not your speech? Everyone here is trash? Just trust me, lick my feet, and I will deliver you paradise? Okay, Priscilla. Mmm. Okay, now this is actually interesting. Remember, a, a, a contract and a pact is different because a pact actually has a return on investment. But then there's also a covenant mentioned. I need to Google this right now. What the fuck is a covenant? What is like a formal definition of a covenant? Does anyone even know? 
A covenant is just an agreement. Agreed by... So is a pact and a covenant... Someone said pact and a covenant is not interchangeable. They said that a covenant is different. Because I thought that a pact and a contract was interchangeable. They mention it later? All right, let's just keep going then. I actually love Crucia's stance. Because I don't trust the dragon either. I could honestly assume that the dragon... Because like, what, what, what's the dragon's goal? To protect the kingdom of Lugunica. Dragon made a pact with the royal family. But the royal family died off in a mysterious virus attack. Not a virus attack, but I don't know actually what it was. It was just like their lineage just died. Their bloodline died. So could you not maybe assume that the dragon killed them? Right? Maybe the royal family got too corrupt and then they were no longer for the benefit of the kingdom. Therefore, the dragon killed them. I, I think that could be another theory that I have. And then the dragon I definitely see as like... I know that the dragon, the, the, sword, the sword saint or a hero and the sage seal the witch away. But I could see the dragon being like a, a end game boss. And Roswell also wants to kill it. But this is a pretty good interesting proposition here. So she's actually saying like it's for the people, not the dragon. Yurius Eucrius. Yurius Eucrius. What a name. Basically, she out there for the money. She is the embodiment of greed and she just wants money. Let's go, Roswell. Yeah. Equality. Hmm? Yeah. In a political platform where the taboo girl is the one, you know, vouching for equality and equity for the people, I think is a pretty good angle. But again, I'm not, maybe this is enough to like sway the masses, but it's not going to be like an electoral vote, right? Because I think that they're going to fucking fight it at the end of the day. Shut up! You literally outrank everyone here. Roswell, well... I can't say that about Reinhardt. I can't say that about Reinhardt. But like Julius, Felix, right? Al, right? No. Roswell on another level, but Reinhardt truly is also on another level. Hey. Cult Grand Wizard. And Sword Saints. Yeah? Who is this guy and why is he yapping so much? He must have some importance in the other faction. The Imperial Knights are on the left side, but on the right, I have no clue who this guy is. I don't know. You judge them before seeing them in action? Keck W. <laughs> you really think? Right now, you're telling me that Felix and Julius are on Roswell's level. You are genuinely going out of the way to have an argument in chat that my... Power scaling intuition of Roswell being another level compared to Julius and Felix is something you disagree on. Genuinely. This is your stance? You gotta be fucking, you gotta be fucking tripping. No one Reinhardt? I told you motherfucker, he's on a different fucking tier. Roswell and Reinhardt, they're in a separate fucking league. Not Julius and Felix? I'm sorry, bro. Al? I don't think they can handle hold a candle to them, bro. <laughs> Shut the fuck up! You're literally yapping and dragging this on too. If everyone just shuts the fuck up, then I can also stop pausing and we can continue this meeting. Everyone stalling. I'm stalling. He's stalling. Half devil. Not even a half wit. The true fucking nature shows up here, huh? <laughs> Should Subaru step up, or should he let the racism happen? Oh, but you know if he steps in, something bad's gonna happen. But it sucks to be just like sit here and not just take it, bro. If Subaru steps in here, I don't honestly blame him. I could totally understand why he steps in. Yep, confirmed. This single smile confirms my suspicion last episode. Roswell, this is according to your plan? Why? Why? 
ふざけんなお前らスバルフライエミリアに謝れスバル変人界の皆様に申し上げます。カウンセルワイズメンマイアーティスサーク。ファイアあったパクシアスタイス、オッケー。銀色の髪のハーフエルフ。That's a translation error, right? You're not even gonna mention ice? Puck, a great spirit who controls fire. Cap, cap. I've never seen Puck use fire in my fucking life. What are you. Fire? What? Ice magic is fire magic? No, you're gaslighting me. You... Is it unreasonable for me to be shocked right now that somehow fire magic is ice magic? Temperature control for sure. There isn't, a th there isn't a concept called coldness. There is a concept called heat. If you've taken like thermodynamics chemistry, base level chemistry, it's not about things getting colder. It's about heat being added or taken away. And in that aspect, I can understand that. So Puck is a great deal, obviously. Great spirit. That, theme, that term got thrown around in the memory of snow as well. And he fought against Roswell, so... Okay. Dice <laughs> Mm -hmm. Despite that, I'll fight for equality. Let's go. This is a great speech right now. Pet servant. It's coming. What the? Man servant. Best knight? Is he a knight? Don't they take that shit seriously back in the day? There's like a whole tradition and culture around that. Can you just say that shit? I don't know. Ah, so so Roswell feigning fucking ignorance, bro. Roswell loves this. He loves it. He wants this shit to happen. Why? Subaru making a fool. Maybe? Is it too far of a reach to assume that Roswell wanted Subaru to literally just fucking be a retard right now so that he gets cut off from our faction? Like, is this the one way to get rid of Subaru? To make him fuck up so hard, Emilia never wants to see him again? Like, is that the plan? Like, what are you doing? Because, like, right now, Subaru is acting against your best interest. It's making him look pretty bad. Hey, you said you're a knight, bro. Oh, Julius is not taking that lightly. It's disrespectful, right? You can't just say that you're a knight, right? Because, like, the Imperial Knights literally have this uniform. They're a whole separate fucking faction. You saw them mobilize and turn their fucking head to the opposing purple clothing forces before. So now Subaru is showing up just claiming that he's a knight. This is pretty disrespectful, right? That shit's so sick. I, I love it when they're all in sync. They all move together. They're all so synchronized, bro. Boom. He's shooting at the choreography, dude. I think it's sick. Oh, no. We fucked up. Don't let your ego get in the way. Say I apologize. Say... I'm ignorant to the laws of this world, the culture. Thank you for enlightening me. Can we continue with the meeting? That's all you have to say. Just take the L, bro. Just take the fucking L. Don't let your pride fucking consume you. Just take the L. It is pretty arrogant. What he said does seem kind of like good in like, I want to make her the ruler. He's like, I understand that I'm weak, but despite that, I want to be the ruler. But it's, you're talking a lot of shit in front of people, you know? Like, it is pretty arrogant. Weakness is something to feel shame, not pride about. 
Pride mentioned again. Pride mentioned again. Every time Subaru gets too prideful or Subaru does anything, like any time a Seven Deadly Sins theme is introduced, the more you get consumed by it, the worse the run's gonna be. Every time we basically absolve those sins and decided to, you know, go through the virtues, then it comes good. Right now, way too prideful. He's never worked in his life. That's so true. We're being so disrespectful. <sighs> this is so hard to watch. Julius literally gave him like three separate chances to back down. I want you to understand that Julius has given him a way out every time. He questions, he challenges Subaru in like a kind of respectful way and says, Are you sure about this, bro? You really want to do this, bro? He's here to simp! And his ego won't let him back down. Emilia's probably thinking, what the fuck is going on? You think this is a Rachel moment, bro? She's special. Remember the whole Rachel theory in Tower of God? How she was, she was chasing after something special. But at the end of the day, what was it? She's the one that wanted to be special. You think that Subaru wants to be special right now? Every excuse he's making is literally just like, just like fucking projecting his own insecurities and this desire to prove himself and his worth and be like, I need to be special. I am the fucking Isakai MC. Just, just say you're not a knight. It's not even that big a deal, bro. Just, just say I'm foolish. I'm ignorant to the cultures or I'm not a knight. That's all you gotta do. <laughs> Anyone who inspires such an expression on the face of one they wish to stand beside cannot be denied. The face she's making. Bro, just step down. Just step down. Oh, no! This is so hard. Literally, look at everyone's faces here. Look at all the knights. Just look at nice face. They're all disgusted, dude. Literally, this is like the sixth or the seventh chance Julius literally gave him. <laughs> it's like, all right, walking away. And then he's like, you knights ain't shit. Oh, dude, what are you doing? So no, they weren't. <laughs> this is disgusting, bro. <laughs> You're making Amelia look bad. That's what you don't even get right now. And Roswell? Roswell literally going <laughs> This idiot's doing everything I want But why? Why Roswell? Why are you letting this happen? More than enough Literally get the fuck out of the room bro You ruined everything there That is fucking embarrassing Literally getting dragged out by your fucking mom right now bro Bad boy Told you to step down bro What is he doing? He's literally making things so much worse for Amelia. Like, you said you want to help her. You're doing the exact opposite because you want to fucking help yourself, you greedy little... Ugh, just... Yeah, just dragging the dog out, pretty much. Detention time. Bad boy. <laughs> if nothing, he's shown us that you are not one to be feared. I guess dub Subaru. They're no longer afraid of the Satala cosplayer. Wow, Subaru did something great. A fine attendant? Oh. Damn. Deported! Kicked out! Kill yourself right now. Kill yourself right now. Kill. Is that a bomb? Dynamite? Dynamite? But before we get there. That was so hard. That was so fucking hard. Right? There's a, there's a bomber about to fucking <laughs> assassinate the building? I'm not sure. But that whole sequence of events from Subaru, oh, that is just his ego just full at display. Julius gave him multiple times. Honestly, Julius gave him multiple times to just back down and apologize. He just kept going. I straight up think Subaru has fucked up now. He, him stepping in, on Amelia's behalf, due to the racism, the prejudice, the discrimination, yes, I can get behind that. But it's just like everything that happened afterwards, fuck, dude, you're not a knight. You took that shit too far. Okay, there's a bomb here. There's a bomb. Oh, Lord. 
Sit down, Mr. President! Rumji! Let's go! Steal! He gave me my granddaughter back! You kidnapped her! Reinhardt, you monster! You broke my family! <laughs> You must die! Ah, uh, now she has to participate for Ramji interest. I wonder if Reinhardt predicted this. I'm not sure. You gotta participate now, Felt. <laughs> Don't let Grandpa die. Alright, she's in. Dude, Ramji should straight up get a job at the Van Astra Mansion or just be an honored guest, man. This is fucked. I love how just professional Marcos has been this entire time. Loki, I think that none of you probably even care about this character Marcos on screen. Marcos has shown such a level of professionalism in the court. Every time these idiots are yapping, and Marcos has to sit there and be like, another day, another bullshit, but I'm gonna do my job. <laughs> He's just like, yep, I'm gonna kill this motherfucker. Felt, what are you gonna say? All right, I'll join. As you wish, my lady. <laughs> Ramji also deported. <laughs> Subaru deported. <laughs> Ramji deported. <laughs> yeah, Reinhardt, did you plan this? I feel like Reinhardt's not a schemer, but I could totally sense some sort of bullshit blessing called uncertain outcome where no matter what things will just work out in reinhardt's favor in a weird way no i think fate is a slave to reinhardt because he is just the chosen one i bet he liked that yeah. Speech time. Give me the speech. What's your platform? Oh. So what? Subaru tries to roleplay the night and everyone gets pissed off and cringes. But Fel says fuck the night and everyone goes beast! Beast! Burn it all down. Burn it down. <laughs> she literally gonna just destroy the kingdom? Uh, and Reinhardt's gonna help? Uh, at least that makes it interesting. Let's go! <laughs> Honestly, what she's proposing here ain't bad. Think about this. You're playing a new game, but the server's been out for like 20 years, and all the fucking veteran characters have all hogged the resources and you're fucked. Ain't it time for a server reset, guys? Even the fields out, give everyone an opportunity? I'm fucking down for Felt's idea. Reinhardt's down, too. Let's go! Oh, here we go, here we go. But Felix, you're no you know we're not a knight, Felix. Are you teasing us? Julius? Oh shit, Julius is the knight. Stop! Julius is straight up correct. You're being a fucking idiot and it impacts how people perceive Emilia, bro. Honestly, I don't think Julius is the villain here. Genuinely. The whole episode, last episode too, he's a reasonable person. Yeah, he seems like the antagonist right now. But Subaru is his own worst enemy right now. He's not, he, like, he's not listening. He's way too blinded by the fucking pride he has. And Julius, honestly, a homie reaching out after all that, straight up, literally reaching out after all that in the room. This dude is so mature and level-headed. <laughs> Reinhardt? Oh shit. Are we gonna do a spar? Are we gonna fight? In front of all the knights? Who's gonna be watching? Is everyone gonna be watching? Oh shit! <laughs> what the 
彼は王に連なるか騎士たる我らを侮辱し軽んじた発言をした確かに Fair, you know what? Fair. I'm actually on Yuli's side. I'm sorry. I am. I think Subaru needs to learn a fucking lesson. He needs a wake up call. He needs a fucking reality check right now. I am down with Yulius beating up Subaru right now. Corrected. This is the correction. Whoa, 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 whoa. The death penalty? Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean? What do you, are you actually gonna, are you actually kill him and then we're gonna fucking repeat? Wait, what do you mean? Oh, the death penalty! So no death? Oh shit. Oh, you cheeky motherfucker. In any other circumstance, in an actual survival battle, I guess this is not bad, right? He's using fucking pocket sand right now, right? He's playing dirty when you're trying to survive for sure. But this is like a duel between knights. <laughs> And that's the other interesting thing, huh? We talk often about pride is one of the most recognized sins that Subaru has, and it often leads him to his despair. But right now, he did kind of throw away his pride to like do a snatching sand attack. But it's like it's like a pride of a knight, pride of like a fight. He's not a he's not a knight. He doesn't have a knight's pride. And he's just doing, you know, deceptive shit to win in this battle. Oh, not like this. Oh, now you're gonna let everyone in here come watch and every fucking girl's gonna see Subaru get his ass beat? Oh, shit. I'm going to すぐにちょっと確認したんやけどその模擬戦って持ちかけたんはどっちなんかな見ております Anastasia's down. Anastasia low-key already under underground betting. She literally bet all in on Julius and is about to profit from this match, bro. I got money, bitch. Kind of true. It's interesting that you're showing up here and just telling us now. Now there's going to be a bigger audience, maybe. <laughs> he showed up because it's so one-sided and he's concerned for Subaru. He deserves this. He's getting corrected. Subaru has been a bad boy. This is his punishment. <laughs> What do you mean? You said you don't. I don't fucking assume me, but yeah, I do. I do love it. Bro, look at the knights. I want you to look at the fucking knights' faces. All of them had a look of disgust at Subaru, but right now, they have a look of utter pity and concern because it's so one sided. Think about that. Like at this point, do we even have a checkpoint? When are we gonna reset back to? That's what I'm concerned about. Like, I don't remember a last checkpoint. A lot of events has happened so far. Ever since the last time we checkpoint, which is the beginning of Arc 2. I straight up don't know. How is this gonna work out? <laughs> <laughs> Julius looks, Emilia's there. Subaru realizes the opportunity. Another shitty display during a duel, throwing away his pride. But it's interesting, again, where there is no pride at display because the pride in context is the knight's pride. And you would think when we go against pride that it would be helpful, but again, it's not a knight's pride that he had. I think he's right, bro. You're not worried to stand her aside based on the actions and the behaviors of Subaru this episode? I think he's right.
We've seen a Subaru that is worthy to stand by our side, but right now, that's not it, man. <laughs> this might be an important wake-up call for him, though. If this is the fucking checkpoint, then we can't redo it, because every time we fucking pass out and wake up, and we see a ceiling we haven't seen. Okay, good, good. Didn't die. But like, what if this is the checkpoint? That's what I'm fucking worried. This, anytime we wake up in the bed, it's bad. You're not listening, dude. You're not listening. What do you mean, we? There is no we. Stop it. Because his, his ego was hurt. Hey, he's being honest. True. He was trying to distance me from you and I hated it. It's not necessarily that, but the baggage that you're carrying, the way you're holding yourself in front of an audience of other people and how that reflects on Emilia and the faction, that's what he's trying to fucking distance and you happen to be the fucking harbinger of that. Like that look here is actually fucking disgusting. Like. This might be rock bottom, bro. Like, I'm sure we're gonna get more rock bottom, but right now, so far, like, this is rock bottom so far in every episode that we've seen up to this episode. Like, this look is not a look of a main character trying to do good shit. Stop the ton, bro. Drop it. Why would she understand? Okay. He's what about my job as Butler? You broke the promise. Was it though? Was it something you wanted to do for her? Or did you want to fucking prove something for yourself? I think you're capping. If it was really for her, would you have done the things that you did today and made her look even worse? Everything you've done was for yourself and your own fucking pride and selfishness. <laughs> it's over. It's over. The one concern I have is the fucking checkpoint right now, because... And you know what's the worst part? I don't think we can get bailed out by a checkpoint. Because if the author goes through this way of developing a million Subaru, this seems to be a really important point. It would be wasted if we simply regressed and we could just redo right now. You know what I mean? For this scene to be impactful, it must carry on. Meaning the checkpoint might happen after we've crossed this fucking bridge and there's no return. Just sit at fucking home, be a good boy, don't break the promise, you promised her! How she wrong? You think he realized there? That he's actually disgusted with himself? The way that he hit his mouth after he said the same shit, which is not- Does he even believe the shit he's saying? That's what I want to know right now. In his mind, does he even believe the shit he's saying to me? I feel like no. I feel like at this point he just had a self-aware moment and he closes his mouth. Do you believe yourself? You're not giving me a reason to, bro. Straight up, you're fucking everything up. Where's the reason to believe you? Bro, the voice acting from Amelia is insane. Like this whole part, that last part where she yelled. そりゃ全部簡単に破り捨てて in the first couple runs where she was there. But in this timeline, that never happened. And you're a random dude that showed up at the fucking cellar. And it makes no sense to her because you're just 
There is no reason, you know? To her, it must be fucking insane. That should never happen. But she can't remember. This is getting so heavy, dude. This is actually rock bottom. This is so fucking bad. Amelia getting this emotionally upset, I never imagined. Holy shit. <laughs> That's like a similar thing of like, you know, leaking. So his witch is sent a spike now because he said when I first arrived to this world, disclosing, you know, him being an isekai character. <laughs> Can she smell this? <laughs> we can't. That's fucked. That's fucked. That's fucked. Straight up. He has an idealized image of her in his head, man. That's not her. That is literally the difference between Emilia and Emilia Tan, bro. I want you to realize that. His idealized image of what this girl is to him is Emilia Tan. You think that was just a cringe joke happening so far? This is my headcanon now. The whole Emilia Tan fucking running gag uses for a fucking moment. The idealized version that doesn't even exist. But we can't tell you! This is rock bottom. And you know what the best part is? I don't think this is rock bottom truly yet. It's rock bottom so far. I bet you we can go further fucking down, bro. The real colors are showing up. The real fucking Subaru with all this ego and entitlement. And he's right. He is right. You know what? This whole reaction from Subaru, I can almost relate. I think this is an incredibly realistic depiction of a guy that's felt so forced, that was unable to do anything. And there is partial truth. He is right. All this time, he did make it right. All this time, he sacrificed so much to make sure everything was right. But here's the thing. No one knows of that. No one can ever know because of the fucking laws of this world. And you're just looking like the biggest fucking incel right now. And I'm not sure if we can ever make it back with Amelia. Now we know the season three poster. We have the season 3 poster that looks has Amelia and Subaru kind of hanging out. But it's going to be fine later on. But like, holy shit. The way that this is coming out from Subaru is just on another level of disgusting. And it's very relatable. It's very real. That last line, you did not have to fucking say that. You should have a greater debt to me than you could ever repay. The true colors come out. The true fucking nature comes out from this guy. You thought that he was just a selfless hero protecting this fucking heroine who needs, you know, some sort of knight in shining armor to help. No, it was never about that shit. It's all about Subaru. Me, 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 my ego, my pride, my sins. Mask off moment, man. True mask off moment. <laughs> You know it's real when she uses the full name. She said his full fucking name. It's over. And he did it. In the first run. And that the first one was so fucking magical, but we can never get back there. This is so sad. <laughs> fucking idiot. Why? 
why, dude? The title is even fucking funnier. The self-proclaimed knight, Natsuki Subaru, bro. <sighs> is that the episode? That's the episode. How do we make a comeback from this? What the fuck? Un unless we literally fucking bring the throne to her, like, I- I- What could we possibly do? I don't know. This is genuinely rock bottom. And I know you guys are gonna say, <laughs> Bro thinks this is rock bottom? Just wait till episode 15, no 18, no end of season to know the true rock bottom start to fuck up. So far of the episodes we've seen, this is absolute rock bottom. It is another level of patheticness, just absolute pathetic state from Subaru. And I don't really, I hate him, but I don't. Because again, that whole part of him just like letting his true feelings out is so realistic. He is a flawed character and he's trying his best, but he's been forced into a situation where he feels like there's nothing he can even do regarding like telling her the truth. So it all coming out like this, coming to a boiling point, I think it's very real and I can understand that. But I can also acknowledge after understanding that, that this is fucking hard to watch and this is not the Natsuki Subaru that I was cheering for in the last couple episodes. But hey, we need to, you know, hit rock bottom if we're going to get back up, right? Why do we fall so we can get back up? Can a Subaru really come back from this? I don't fucking know what he can possibly do to do it. But holy shit, this episode was hard. Julius... And again, I don't think Julius is the bad guy here, man. I think that Julius was being extremely reasonable, gave Subaru multiple ways to go out. All he had to do was say, I'm not a fucking knight. I didn't know the cultures and customs. But he kept thinking that Julius is like a better person than him that's going to take Amelia away or at least even separate Amelia and Subaru. And this causes his fucking sins to just encroach. And a very interesting thing is the way that they battle, because quite often this pride is the result of what we see Subaru right now, but when he does, you know, unknightly things like use a pocket sand, Yuli straight up said, you really have no pride. It's an interesting way where, again, just like, you would think that having no pride would help him out, but right now, this is, I think, more of a knight's pride thing, context-wise, and he truly has no pride. Looking like a fucking pig right now. So fucking bad. But hey, at the very least, Romji and Felt got reunited, so it's not too bad, right? I'm sure we can walk this off. And then Rem will go, Sasuga Subaru-sama! You know, uh, Emilia- You know what? Fuck it! We got Rem now! Ignore Emilia! <laughs> Don't ignore Emilia, but at least we have Rem. And one thing I'm worried about is how he's gonna treat Rem. Because I bet she's gonna stick around. But like, with him in this mental state... Oh man. I actually don't want to think about what he's going to do to Rem. That's it from me. If you're still here though, and if you enjoyed this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.